Frazier to left field. He's done it again. The beast of the East roars early. Leave a lasting impression on who is the best in the world for your question. You will Such a deserving champion. Let's go! After winning the Lloyd World Series, I think we then we meet Alec Ball when we went to the White House. That was great, you know. Met Al Gore. Al Gore sang happy birthday to me. Yeah. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. yeah. I had Al Gore sign a yeah. baseball. I'm like, what am I doing? Hey, do you mind signing this? We were supposed to meet Quentin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Quentin had a the funeral. President passed away. King, yeah, King of Spain, <coughs> Jordan, the King of Jordan died. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was bummed. I yeah. wanted to meet. I didn't. Yeah, yeah I didn't we, were, we were supposed to meet Bill. Yeah, because he's yeah. a charismatic guy, you know. But but Al Gore was awesome. Yeah. He picked us up. That was real cool. Well. Remember, we had the Secret Service showing us through yeah. everywhere the White House, yeah, all the different the, rooms. The, the, the room, color the red room. room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abe Lincoln's room. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I remember being in that like waiting area, and they had military, Marine guards, and everybody standing wide, and they said, "Guys, this is where they have state dinners. Please be respectful and, and don't sit on the." Don't sit on the chairs or anything. So it felt like four hours we were waiting. 10 minutes in, we were all like at the table, kind of like, <laughs> you know, I remember looking around being like, they gave us one rule. Yeah. Don't sit at <laughs> don't the chairs and don't <laughs> And, here, and they didn't say anything. What else did we do? We had the bats, we had Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie was great. She, she was great. She hooked us up She hooked us up with some free gear, some bats, gloves. Yeah, yeah. She, gave she, donated, she donated to the donated league. She donated to the yeah, Little League, so yeah. we'd have, now the Little League has uh, Fraser indoor Fraser Fieldhouse, right? Yeah, I think she, yeah, the, which is now the Fraser Fieldhouse, yeah, what she donated. Bat yeah, the Let me tell you my most memorable experience. This is funny, too. You gotta get yeah, this. I get a phone call. Uh, from someone that was voted one of the top 100 Irishmen of the year. I remember that. I, I, I was voted one of the top that. 100 yeah. Irishmen of the year. Let's and, not be and, that many Irishmen. And I got the magazine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I get off the phone. I'm all excited. So I got the front in case he's out there playing out front. I say, hey, okay. I was voted one of the top 100 Irishmen of the year. And he goes, what were you, number 99? <laughs> That's what he said, number 99. So we get to this. It was at the Waldorf Story. They had a limousine pick us up. They had asked me, out of all those people, to be make a speech. You know, uh, you know, whatever. So, so they had, so they had some highlights in the background, and I opened up with, you know, telling my son that I was one of the top 100 Irishmen a year, and going, "What were you 99?" So I kind of broke the crowd. They're all yeah, laughing, ha ha, you know, whatever. So I get done. I come down to get back to my seat. Ted Kennedy and Donald Trump. Good job. Good job. Oh, there you Donald go. Trump. That's pretty cool. That's huh? And Ted, and yeah, wow. yeah. So then we go to the cocktail hour afterwards, and I'm surrounded, and all these like big shots, authors, actors, whatever, they're standing there with their wives, whatever. But everybody has kids, so they're like, "Hey, coach, my, I got a, I got an eight-year-old. Should he do curveballs? Should he be like this?" And everyone's asking me yeah, all this, but yeah, like I'm, I'm just a little league guy, you know. Yeah, and I'm giving all these like millionaires, you know. Talk curveballs. That was that, that, that was a, that was an impressive night. You were on um, Letterman show. Hop in the limo, head up. They. Uh, you know, they usher me into whatever my dressing room or whatever, and they're like, "Do you do you need anything? Do you want anything?" I'm like, no, not really. They had, you know, they had spread out for me. Have a beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> so, uh, and I was like, "Do is there anything you need to tell me?" They're like, "Just no one word answers. Dave will take it from there." I was like, "Okay." So uh, I walk know, out. One word <laughs> I was like, on. "I was like, oh." Yeah, so okay. uh, I walk out. Yeah, I walk you out. Say, okay, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I can handle that, <laughs> sir. So now. They're using you as a pinch hitter. Tell, tell the folks what happened the first time uh, up as a um, pinch hitter. I was, I was getting up and I just wanted to get a hit. I just wanted to connect with the ball and right. good things will happen. So I connected and it went over. Yeah. Now, are you, are you a home run hitter? No, I'm a line drive uh, ground ball hitter. Whoa. So now what does this say? What are, what are we saying here? Are we... I guess I ate my Wheaties. Yes, sir. <laughs> the, Stage was completely black. I couldn't see anybody in the audience. Really? Um, yeah. yeah. I remember being freezing. What about the babes? What kind of stuff drives the babes crazy, huh? Well, you so know. You had to fight the babes off, huh? Maybe you didn't hear about it, but I, I got a marriage proposal. Yeah, are you having the big parade through Tom's River? What happens there? Uh, we're getting one Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're getting the parade Saturday? Yeah. So, how did the marriage proposal come about? Oh, we were coming in on fire trucks, and mm -hmm. that wasn't really 
that, there was a lot of people there, but that wasn't really the parade. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't count. You know, it's easy to get a girl to marry you when you're on a fire truck. Yeah. <laughs> try a rental car. Try like a Taurus <laughs> or something. After the fact, they're like, "Do you need anything for the ride home?" And 12, 12 year old kid, what? What a 12 year old kid asked for. I'm in a limo, I saw Home Alone, so I was like, I'll take a pizza. Yeah. So I'm driving home with this big pizza in the limo, and I'm like, how can life get any oh, better than awesome. this, right? That's, that's awesome, that's, you that's, thought about that. Yeah, that's like, cool. Like, sure, I'll take a pizza. The New York Yankees would like to recognize the accomplishments of the 1998 Little League World Series Champion Team from Tom River. I remember Paul O'Neill was the guy I really wanted to see, to be honest. And he came, didn't he come in beforehand yeah, before and talk to us in, in the Yankee no, Stadium? It's just Jeter. I don't remember. No, Paul, I thought came out, Paul he came out real quick. He came out yeah, real quick. I, I must have missed it. I thought yeah. that was the thrilling stuff. Yeah. Remember the funny thing about that? Boomer Wells was pitching. David Wells was pitching, and your, Casey, your son, had his phone number on the glove. And remember, it was on live TV. Your home phone number was on the glove. Do you remember <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah, well, that was the funniest part about it. The guy who was running the show says, no autographs, right? We yeah. got there, no autographs. Yeah, yeah. So I gave Casey Sharpie to get an autograph. Yeah. And he goes, what are you going to do, arrest you? He had a whole phone number, you know, 732, blah, blah, blah. I got a phone call and after the tournament. It was tournament so funny. Buddy, I went to high school in Florida, and he, he calls me. And he said, hey, now I got your number. And he says, on Casey's glove. Yeah. Glove. <laughs> and then a picture of him in the post the next day, they got him signing yeah, his glove. That, and I got that, that glove down in the basement signed. Yeah, but it's so like. Hopefully over the phone number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who are you next to out there? Uh, Bernie. 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 Oh, it's yeah. a good one. How about yeah. you? Tim Raines. Tim. Oh, the Rock. Yeah. Awesome. And that was man. next to Tori. Yeah, that's, there you yeah. go. Perfect. That was. I mean, that's. It, that it, was probably one of my favorite experiences. Me, of, yeah. Of me, Gabe Gardner, and uh, Joey were with uh, Chuck Knobloch, Luis Soho, and then Gina. So it was cool. They, they all. They, they, were, they had some good work. They were so there. cool. Bernie, that told me he asked if I wanted to race. He was like, "Let's race out there." I was like, "All right." Let's go. So I took off. Took off, thinking I had a little speed. And I, he was letting me win. I, I got some distance, and all of a sudden, just a white flash went by me. 12-9, Tom's River wins it. This is a team which really is stocked with champions. It was kind of scary. I got scared when that big kid got up and the other kid got up, but I shot him down. Hey, Chris Cardone, yesterday you said you're not one of the top hitters, and yet today, two home runs. Yeah, I got lucky, I guess. <laughs> Long road, wasn't it? Yeah, just thinking oh. back how long it was. I mean, every, hot all the ups night. and downs and just the character that that was built, you know, through that summer. You know, you, we learned a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's so much fun. Man. <laughs> we played, we that, played yeah. like it was our last game. That's why backing up and stuff, that's all we did. Yeah. We, all we did was play, that's it. That's why I love this time of year because yeah. we did it. We've been there and it's like we're 20 years now, so it's going to be a good time. It's awesome.